Welcome back everyone to Around the World, the show where we talk about holidays throughout different cultures. In the previous episodes, we talked about China with the Mid-Autumn Festival, Halloween in North America, and the Day of the Dead in Latin America. Today we will be talking about Christmas in the United States. Christmas is a time to spend with family and to give to others. Celebrated on December 25th, Christmas has been a long celebrated holiday in North America since the 1870s. The middle of winter has always been a time for celebration. During Christmas, most families spend their time opening presents from loved ones. How do you all celebrate Christmas? Like, for me, my family kind of, we keep it on the down low. We don't bring too many. We don't invite other guests because we are a big Italian family. So we'd have like 50 guests if we had to invite them all. It would be horrible. That sounds like it'd be a lot to organize every year. Um, what I do personally is my family doesn't celebrate Christmas, but I do. So the key here is to have friends that celebrate Christmas and celebrate with that. Because what happens is you get to celebrate the best parts of Christmas without any of the downsides. It's a lot of fun every year. Smart idea. Mm -hmm. So every year my family, well, we try to do it every year. We do Secret Santa. And what we'll do is uh, during Thanksgiving, uh, we'll write down everyone's name and then we'll pick out of a bag and that'll be uh, your, your person that you give a gift to. So when Christmas comes, uh, it's like a surprise. It's like you didn't know that they were your Secret Santa. Um, but now we will show you some clips uh, celebrating Christmas. However, imagine a time without Christmas. It may come as a surprise, but Christmas wasn't always a celebrated holiday. This could have happened because in the 17th century, Christmas was canceled in Boston. This is due to, this is due to the Europeans when they came to the Americas. Christmas was not originally celebrated. It was only in the 18th century that Christmas was reinvented into the Christmas that we all celebrate today. In fact, not only was Christmas not celebrated the way we celebrate the holiday, even Santa Claus wasn't the jolly guy we know today. The legend of Santa Claus can be traced back to a monk named St. Nicholas, born sometime around 280 AD. This monk was generally known for his generosity and kindness towards the poor. It is even said that the monk gave away all of his inherited wealth to help the poor. However, this isn't even his most famous story. His most famous story is that of him saving these two poor sisters from being sold to slavery by their father. Nicholas did this by offering the daughters a dowry to get married. Interestingly enough, even after the Protestant Reformation, where most of the saints were supposed to be no longer venerated, St. Nicholas still maintained a good reputation. However, this isn't the Santa that most of us are familiar with. Only in the 18th century did New York learn of St. Nicholas when a newspaper reported a Dutch family gathered to honor the saint's death. In Dutch, St. Nicholas's name was shortened to Sinterklaas, which inspired the name Santa Claus. Later, Santa Claus would be evolved into the jolly old elf we now know today, when a movie about him would depict him in this manner. Let's wrap this episode up with something a bit more sweet, the treats that are associated with Christmas. Candy canes originated in Germany as just white and red sticks and red sticks. However, to really drive the idea of a Christmas boo, it was then shaped into a J, like a shepherd's cane. That wraps up, that wraps up this episode of Around the World. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everybody, and a happy, happy New, New Year. Year.